everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back here with a different type of video for you. So for Christmas, one of the things that I like to do for my kids' teachers is to make them something personalized, but still somewhat useful. Um, as a teacher myself, I loved getting gift cards for Starbucks and things like that, but I also really loved the personalized gifts. But the thing was, I didn't want to spend tons and tons of money on, you know, a whole bunch of craft things if I was only going to use them once. So I've got an idea here for a really easy and really inexpensive personalized gift. So the things that you'll need really are these ornaments. And these are glass ornaments that I purchased from uh, Michael's. I say they're glass, but don't feel like glass. I think they're plastic. So you can either buy plastic or glass, but um, you can buy them colored, you can buy them cleared. And basically just once you've purchased the ornaments, I get them in actually a pretty good size. And then I get them in a pack of six. Then I also buy the Sharpie paint pens and these are metallic and these work on wood and glass. So these are actually really, really good for this type of project. So first thing I'm gonna do, move these out of the way here is actually prep, prep my paint pens. So the key with these paint pens really is to make sure to, there's actually instructions in here, so you remove the cap with the marker in tip up position, depress point with finger, recap and shake well to mix the paint. So really, put your finger down over the cap, depress the point with finger, then recap and shake well to mix. So once you've shaked it well to mix the paint, then depress the marker point several times on surface to saturate the paint. So basically this is what this paper is for. You're depressing it, pressing the cap, and you see the cap actually pushes inward. So you press down on it until the paint become, starts to come down through the pen into the tip. It can take several times for it to go through. I can see the paint is coming through here. It took a bit of time. There, I see the paint. Now, what I would suggest, first of all, is to practice how you're going to hand letter the names. And I practice it on this piece of watercolor paper. So the name I'm gonna first do, I'm trying to think, if I'm gonna do silver, I'm going to do the silver paint pen with the blue balls sorry, with the blue ornaments. And then um, I'm gonna do gold with the red. So my son loves the color blue, so all of his teachers are going to get a blue ornament. I think, how many are there? No, they're not gonna all get blue ornaments. I'm gonna do half blue, half red. So his teacher is Margie, the first one I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna practice here first. Margie, and you know what? I might just keep it really simple or do the faux brush lettering. Obviously it's gonna be really easy, it's easier on paper than it is on the ornament. But I like that. And then it's a good enough shape that that size is perfect. So that's about two, three inches. Okay, so I'm gonna Hold this down steady on my paper like this. Choose a line to kind of work it through. There is a line that I can see kind of going through the middle of the ornament, so I'm going to use that as my line here. A lot of people, you, a lot of people suggest you know maybe putting down pencil so that you can erase it. I'm kind of going by eye, so it really, really is up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and write in the name Margie. Oh, and I love that, put the eye in here. And then do the down strokes. I love presents like these because it's a great way for the teachers to remember 
kids in their class with a personalized present. And I find that these personalized presents are really relatively inexpensive compared to buying the teachers a whole bunch of gift cards for coffee shops, which I know that they completely deserve, but I love personalized presents as well. I love that. Can you guys see that? So, Margie. Really simple, but it's such a cute, cute ornament. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to write at the bottom that this is from my son Henry. Obviously he's not writing this. <laughs> And this is 2019. Such a cute, simple present, and I love it. So then the next thing I'm going to do is actually just take silver ribbon, scissors, let's take a bit of silver ribbon, And for the red ornaments, because they have gold up here, I'm going to use gold ribbon. Just put that through. And actually, one of the things I'm going to add here, I'm going to add a little gift tag. Just one sec. have these gift tags that I bought at Michael's, I think maybe a little while ago. So, so what I'm going to do with these gift tags is I'm going to take a gift tag here ooh, and just take some washi and I want the washi to match what it is that I'm doing. So I'm going to take some blue washi put it across like this. I know it's really distracting having this. I'm going to move this off the paper pad there. And then put a little silver washi. Love this skinny washi. And then I'm just going to write handmade. for you. And I'm going to put another little strip of washi in the corner just to balance it out in here. It's crooked, but it's okay. And then I'm just going to write my son's name at the bottom. He's only five, so... Then what I'm going to do is take this ribbon and then put it through the back so that it's a gift tag to go with the ornament. Really easy, really quick present. So it's personalized for the teacher. You've got a gift tag here. And I absolutely love it. And I normally place these in um, just a really small gift bag for the teacher. So I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do the gold pen in the red. And then it's a really, really easy gift. So I'm going to do the gold. So now I have here the red ornament. And I'm going to practice writing the name. I'm just trying to think which of Henry's teachers would appreciate red. Maybe Trina. So we'll just do... Practicing here. Okay, so that's about as big as Teacher Margie's one. So this one is a little bit different because it is shinier and smoother than the previous one. So if you have see any imperfections, I'm actually just wiping it off with a, um, a lens, <laughs> my glass, my lens cleaner. Okay, I always get nervous when I do these. And then for 
for the tea. I really like it. I should have probably extended the A a little bit, but now I'm going to do the down strokes. And I mean, another way that you could do this is obviously if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette, you can hand letter their names in, like in Procreate, and then print them and cut them on vinyl or foil and then transfer it to here. But if you don't have that, and you're confident in your hand lettering skills, all you need is a paint pen. Oh, I really, really like that. What do you guys think? I know the light's in the way there, Trina. And then underneath again, I'm gonna write my son's name. I love working with these paint pens. Perfect. So that is a really simple, as it rolls away, move this out of the way so I can show you guys exactly here. A really simple personalized ornament, personalized gift using ornaments that you can buy from Michaels. So you can either buy the clear glass ones or you can buy the colored ones. I if, I, if you're going to buy the colored ones, buy the ones that are a bit smoother, that are easier to write on, not the ones that are all covered in glitter, obviously. And then buy the Sharpie paint pens. So the Sharpie paint pens that I got were the fine markers, and they're the ones that are oil-based that work on wood and glass, and this one also works on plastic. So that is a gift idea for you guys if you are wondering what to do for Christmas. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. A really quick and easy craft for you today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.